So we have a blue bag ready for the takings, paper clips, small pieces of paper to be able to write their quantities on, and obviously some money bags. And then we get out the cash weighing machine and plug it in and turn it on. The cash tray needs to be removed so that it can accurately weigh the coins. The till has been exited and to go to cash, for cashing up, we go to the top left hand corner. End of day, cashing up. And this screen appears. The first thing to do is to check it's a small box, enter value of each domination, which in, brings these boxes live so that the amount can be pushed into each one. So good practice, because as you can see from the counting machine, we're ready to accept pennies. So here it says 0 0.01, which means we are counting pennies. We're taking all the pennies out of the putting that into the tray and you place the tray on the balance at the back here you can see it says there are 35 pence worth of 1p pieces I then take the cash and we pour it into the coin bag as it is less than, it says a pound in bronze in pennies. We've only got 35 pence. So I will need to label how much money there is in there. So I'm going to mark that 35p and pop it into the bag, seal the bag, and have that ready to put into the takings. Going back to the screen, I now need to go to the penny section and put in that we have got 35 pence. Um, and that's done, now ready to take the next denomination, which of course is two pence pieces. That's it. We take the tray to the machine and you can see here, it has automatically moved forward to be the 2p denomination. So top right, it says 0 0.02. The bottom here, it still has a running total of the number of pennies we've put in. You place this tray on here and it pings and tells us we have 16 pence in 2p pieces. The total we've now counted appears at the bottom as 51p. Take the coins, pour them into the cash bag, add a piece of paper which says 16 pence seal the bag, it's less than a pound, so that's all we need to, we have to mark how much there is in there. And then we go back to the till and add 16p in the two pence column. Five p so which of course we all loathe. <laughs> that was terrible in there. Also stick down the ridges. Side. Take that to the counting machine, which has automatically moved on to be counting five pences. Put it on, and it tells me we have two pounds forty p in five p pieces. Two pounds forty. The maximum in a coin bag for five p's is five pounds, so we're less than that. So we will shoot it into the bag. Add the, the piece of paper that says two pounds forty. Seal and add it into here as two pounds forty. Just check checking that we're doing it right. So the next one is ten pieces. Place it on the counting machine, which has automatically moved itself onto the 10p count. We have £4.70. So 
same process, less than five pounds. So we need to put a little ticket in it that says £4.70 in seal and add it to the screen. Move on to 20 pieces. moved on again automatically to 20p counts <clears throat> and we have 11 pounds 80 uh -huh. uh -huh. so the bag has a maximum for 20ps to, to be in that bag is 10 pounds so we're going to have to count out 1 pound 80 to remove from um, that bag which so only two bags one for the 1 pound 80 which Jane is just counting out one pound 20, 40, 60, 80. Goes into its own bag. Marked one pound 80. And then we'll have another bag, which will now have the remaining 10 pounds in it. And because it is what it says on the bag, you don't need to add a label. So we have to go back to here and we're going to add into this. £11.80. £11.80. And you heard the Jane reminding me what we've done so that we're both confirming each other. 50 pences. Again, the counting machine has moved on automatically to say it's counting 50 pence pieces. And the total here is 12 pounds. So again, I will now count out two pounds, which will go into its own bag with a label. Okay. Again, good practice just to check each other. And then a remaining bag, because we know their remaining is 10 pounds, and a bag says so ten pounds in fifty pence pieces. That takes us to the pound. Please enter it on the screen. Thank you. And it was twelve pounds. Okay. We could have two bags here. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe three. <laughs> So again, the counting machine has moved automatically onto one pound coins that are in the tray. Place it on gently. And we have 35 pounds of one pound coins. So the bag will contain 20 pounds. So I will now count out 15 pounds. One, two, three. That's five, yeah? Yes. Another five. Mm -hmm. And the final five, 15 pounds. 15 pounds, which requires a piece of paper to say 15 pounds. And then, then the remaining 20 pounds is in the bag because it has 20 pounds. And bag, no label required. So that brings us to 35. That brings us to our notes. So two pounds is next oh, on the pounds. counting machine. Yep. So we have no two pounds tonight, two pound coins. So I will then go to this right hand forward arrow and move it forward to the five pound marker. Now, for notes, we do not use the tray. We lay them against the back slot of the counting machine without the tray in place. So, 
I'm going to count them again in front of Jane so that we double check. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90 pounds. Sorry, Jane. All right. So we now place these on the tray, on, on the back of the machine. So the tray is not used. We try our best with these flimsy little numbers that slip everywhere to have a suitable group of notes that the machine can count. And we place them like that. And it agrees. Really? It says it has 90 pounds. So Julia will now enter that onto the screen. I pass her the money. I take a paper clip, fix it with a paper clip and a piece of card. We'll write on it £90 and tuck those together, putting them there ready to place into the bag in a moment. One thing that I would just should perhaps remind you that as we had no twos, we still have to put a zero, zero, zero in the two pound coin section to ensure that every box is filled. So, obviously we go on to 10 pounds, and this isn't gonna take very long tonight. So 10, 20, 30, 40, Jane's gonna take yep. it. Yep, it's 40 pounds. Now we'll get the machine to weigh it. Yes, it agrees, 40 pounds. Same process, paper clip. £40, clip together, ready. So now the £20 currently are rather awkward because of the different sizes and therefore different weights. And so the counting machine does not count them accurately. So we need to do these by hand. So easily done tonight, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Jane would check that. I agree. And yeah, it's telling me on the machine that we're £20 short, which proves the point that we must manually count £20 notes. It says we only have £80 here. But we are convinced. That we know, the there are five. <laughs> so we're going to clip it with 100. I will enter that into the screen. And put it into the car. Now, sitting in that same drawer with the £20 notes, we have a cash deposit slip, which tells us that during the day today, um, and we can look at the time, at 13.47 today, um, £100 was taken from the till and deposited into our bank account via the post office counter. So that £100 we add in to the um, screen. It doesn't really matter which one you add it into. In this case, because it's a nice and neat £100, I'm going to put that into the £50 notes and tell the um, EPOS system that there is another £100 which is invisible in here. And this will go into the bag um, when, we, when we do that up. We know that we have £396.41 that should be going into the system. Because the cursor is flashing in the £50 box where we entered the £100 from the deposit to our bank account, to get the cursor out of there, we're now going to push the submit button. And you will see that the number has changed. And the variance is £99.15. pence. We, that includes the float, which was £98.50. So our team has had a remarkably accurate day, the till only being out by 65p, which is extraordinary. So you now go on doing what the screen tells you. So Julia is currently folding the first end of day report. We now need to say yes to confirm the second end of day report 
and these we fold into a suitable size to go into the taking bag. And helpfully with the, what it is at the top of the pile. <clears throat> so the first one came from the till feed, the second one is coming from the card machine. So it is relayed the card purchases and it tells you at the bottom of the report that it's complete. So we fold that and add that. And then the till roll provides yet another piece of paper that we also add to the ticket here. And we can actually see that that matches in the middle. The total sales for the day match the totals on the screen. That all goes together and it goes with the cash into the blue takings bag. One final thing, of course, in the till, we have a whole pile of receipts from today, which we take out and put together into the bag. Um, if you can find a large paper clip that will go around them all the better so that they don't get into a tangle in their bag like that and then all of this goes into the taking bag which is a blue bag and everything then just gets neatly put into here ready to be put into the safe overnight.